Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Thursday, April 16th, 2015. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Pope Francis has condemned gender theory for the fourth time this year. He says it's, quote, an expression of frustration and resignation that attempts to block all sex differences because it's unable to face them. As Francis puts it, the removal of difference is the problem, not the solution. He deems complementarity between man and woman the foundation of a Catholic understanding of sexuality and calls for a rediscovery of the alliance between the two sexes. The president of Turkey is condemning Pope Francis for calling the slaughter of Armenians by Ottoman Turks the first genocide of the 20th century. At least one million Armenians, many of them Christians, were tortured and massacred by Ottoman Turks in the region of modern-day Turkey, starting in 1915. Turkey denies the genocide, and Turkish Catholics are reportedly embarrassed by the Pope's comments, while Armenian Catholics thanked Pope Francis for giving international recognition to atrocities committed against their people by the Muslim government. Following up on our story from Monday, a gay nominee rejected as ambassador to the Vatican may not be gay after all. LifeSite News is reporting that the nominee from France is actually a devout, mass-going Catholic who's the representative of the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs at the Order of Malta. He was also first counselor of the French Embassy to the Holy See, where he gained the respect of the Curia. Facts remain murky, but some speculate the nominee is the target of a smear campaign, meant ultimately to make the Holy See look bad. The Vatican's chief exorcist says, quote, ISIS is Satan. He insists there are only two spiritual realms, the Holy Spirit and the demonic spirit. He puts the Islamic group, which is brutally terrorizing Middle Eastern Christians ever since it started, in the latter realm. Father Gabriel Amorth wonders why Western powers have done almost nothing to stop ISIS, while innocent Christians continue to be massacred throughout Iraq and Syria. A new Girl Scouts troop has opened at a gay pride center and will focus on transgender children and children of gay couples. The troop had its first meeting at the Utah Pride Center in Salt Lake City, where girls aged 7 to 11 attended. And a Boy Scouts troop in New York is defying national leadership by hiring its first openly gay adult employee. Just two years ago, the Boy Scouts changed its rules to allow homosexual youth, but disallowed gay adults. The New York branch is claiming its actions are a step towards, quote, ending that discrimination. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael shares the big news about our brand new website. Remember to share headlines with your friends. See us on Facebook and Twitter. And may God bless you.